This is an outbreak of disease that started in Wuhan, it's one of the central Chinese cities. It's caused by a novel coronavirus. That means it's brand new and so new that it actually doesn't have a name. It's from a family called the coronaviruses. The symptoms of this illness are pretty mundane on the face of it. It's a dry cough, fever, and then breathing problems. It seems quite mild in lots of people, and probably those people don't end up in hospital at all. We only know about the more severe cases, which is where people have gone on to develop viral pneumonia. And those people obviously end up in hospital, and all the deaths have been amongst those people. This brand new coronavirus came from animals and it's believed that the source was actually a seafood market in Wuhan, which also sells wild animals. So far, as far as we know, all the cases have come out of Wuhan. So some of these people are in places like Thailand and Japan, but they haven't picked it up there. They actually got it in Wuhan and then they travelled. China, where the most cases are, it's older people who are ending up in hospital with this. They're usually over 40, and the very youngest person diagnosed is about 13 or 14 years old. So it doesn't appear to be affecting small children, and those who have died tend actually to have underlying conditions, as they say. They, they're frail, they may have heart disease or, or cancer already, and so they're vulnerable. Basically, their immune systems are not very robust, and they're going to find it very hard to fight off the virus. We've only just discovered that the new coronavirus is actually transmitted from one person to another. It was hoped at first, actually, that it just came from animals, as all coronaviruses do. But now it looks as though it is actually passed from one human being to another. <laughs> <laughs>